stay with your new feet. Put the card here. Idiot. Stupid. Put this, put, oh, oh, put this game here. Go ahead and start. <laughs> come on, start the camp. Start the camp. Come on, come on. I'm a busy man. I have something special to show you. Ew. A ver. <laughs> Filthy animal. Oh. That's filthy animal. That's disgusting. That's the, you're just in the toilet here with a. Okay. Lewis. That's you, Lewis. From Promnik, Poland. A Promnik, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right, is below Warsaw, Poland. And he said he's my best fan. I'm glad I have somebody that likes our videos. Thank you, Lewis. I'm going to dedicate this video to you because this is one of the rare bees. This is rare that you even have a fan. A company called oh, GRC. Anyway, oh. International Concepts made this machine or released it, but it's a Gottlieb machine. You can even see by the flippers. Gottlieb was commissioned by a company called uh, International Concepts in Missouri to make not one but two cocktail table pinballs to sell to hapless homeowners a franchise make money while you sleep pinball business. Wow, what an incredible racket. But they offered Gottlieb some good money to design two pinballs. This uh, night moves they made a boatload of. I'm not sure how many but a lot more than this. This is the second in the edition. This is called Caribbean Cruise or Caribbean Cruise. And I always like to go back to the old Billy, or, uh, Billy Ocean. Caribbean Queen. Right back to Oh, sorry. Caribbean Cruise. Yes, this was it. 377 of these were made. That's it. Billy Ocean's lawyers on the phone said he's illegally uh, using a song. Uh, yes, but they didn't on this baby. Look how beautiful it is. Let me tell you the story. No distributors handled this machine. You could not go into the Gottlieb distributor and say, I'd like to buy your new cocktail because International Concepts, I do have that right, International Concepts in Missouri, because I keep getting them confused with um, another company. Anyway, uh, Anyway, these people came up uh, with the idea of selling these direct to people at a franchise show. See, the common knowledge is that most homeowners can get their hands on twenty to 30000 bucks through a homeowner's loan or something. That's about it. So if you can show up at, at a franchise show and sell a franchise in that range, you're probably going to make a good sale. And you know what? Thank you for it. He unplugged Play Choice. Thank you. Anyway, so what they did is you went in there and they said, we're going to sell you a pinball franchise for such and such a county. And nobody else will have cocktail pinballs but you. And all you have to do is sign on the dotted line and they sold you two, three, four, five, six of these machines. The retail to the people, if they bought the, this great deal, was about 4,000 bucks a machine. But they were very flexible in the price because in fact their cost was probably around 1,800 a machine, maybe 1,900. So they could wheel and deal anything they want. And they went all around the country selling cocktail table pinball machine franchises. Problem was, is that most bars, to take a machine like this, had a contract with a vendor who wouldn't allow them to stick another machine in. The second problem, cocktail table pinball machines make no money. Game plan, Allied Leisure, they, they tried cocktails, a lot of them. Midway even came up with one called Rotation 4, where the playfield actually roll, moved into four different positions so four people could sit around the cocktail table. Took up too much room. Let's face it, it's a four-player machine. Player one sits down, shoots the ball, plays for 30 seconds, 50 seconds. His ball goes down the drain, he has to get up, and player two sits down. Nobody wants to do that, not in a bar. I forget it. And you're not going to play it in a pinball hall. The, with a cocktail table mispack and the screen flips. You don't have to get out of your seat. One player plays and the second player. So, they tried this in 79. Didn't work, but in 84, this company was able to convince a lot of homeowners to buy these babies. 
They bought them, took them home, started trying to get the location and discovered they couldn't put them anywhere. And it's really sad. Look at all the neat features this machine has. First of all, this is using the System 3 boards. So it has the bigger displays, better sound, actually fantastic sound, and some great effects. For instance, the pop bumpers use regular 44 bulbs. But in fact, watch this, when I hit any switch, it'll kick over. Now I'm on my multi bulb. See the pop bumpers? The 44, they made it into a flash lamp just by doubling the current. Now I'm back to regular gameplay. Lots of things to do. It was very easy to service, too. See, once you open your front door, like so, put your key out, insert in the back here, unlock the top, slides right off, like so. Couldn't have been easy. Playfield. You put your hand here now. This is the pro you have to make sure the balls don't go everywhere. They'll fall right out on you. But let me look. And can show you underneath how nicely laid out it was. The system three components, super reliable. Lithium battery, remember, Gottlieb was the first to put a lithium battery on their games. And we actually changed it and put one of our batteries, a bigger battery. It should last five, six years and hold the high score. I love the System 3. Everything's so nice and clean. Your volume control is still in the front door, just like on all System 3s uh, of the earlier. They're right there. Cute little track. Still have the original cash pan. The lady who bought this machine said they had they tried to find a location, had it on location, maybe five or six months. Made $3 a week, $6 a week. They finally brought it home and kept it in their house the rest of its life until they traded it into us. Now, I have a neat, well, an unhappy story to tell you about one of the game has lost track of the balls because I had the game up in it. I'm going to tell you a neat story, but first I want to tell you something about this game. There are two optics in here. If you have a Night Moves or a Caribbean Cruise, you have to take this cover off and reflow solder on the optics and the connectors because they, they become ice cold, just like all the optics on all Gottlieb games. You do that, you bulletproof the game forever. Look at how nice the cabinet is in this, obviously because it was brand new, six months worth of vending, came home. Oh, you know what this company actually had the nerve to do? They actually were selling people extra parts. They said, oh, you should buy an extra logic board, $400. An extra driver board, $250. An extra top piece of glass. I, I, several of the people bought these extra parts and I would get boxes of stuff. I was getting a lot of these traded in. I guess in the late 80s, people had them in their garage. They never put them in location. So I have a bunch of these out in location. Not many, not many of the Caribbean crews. Caribbean crews. Caribbean Queen. Not many of them, but a lot of night moves. Another one that's a disco theme, similar to, let's say, Disco Fever. But anyway, the guy bought two. He made him a deal. He bought two for 4000 apiece, 8000 bucks. Guy found one location, put the game in the bar. The guy loved it. He says, oh man, I wish you had a second one. Well, the guy's thinking, well, I have another one. I haven't found a location. So he put two in. First week, he grows 60 bucks, 60 bucks. He's looking at this money, $60 for two machines. He got $30 each week. Second week, he grows 50. Third week, he grows 40. And then on Friday night, he gets his phone call 10, the guy bartender screaming that there's a ball stuck on the in the machine and he better get his ass down there to get the ball out or he was gonna throw his games out on the street. So he drove all the way down there to get the ball out from wherever it landed and to fix it. All this for his big $20 a week that he was making. Well, after about six or eight months, he stopped going every week. He was going every other week, every three weeks, every four weeks. <coughs> Finally, he calls me on the phone. He says, would you be willing to buy my two machines? And I said, sure, okay. I, he said they were in good, good condition. They were still working. So I gave him a price. He said, sold. He says, I'll go to the bar and pick them up. So he drives all the way over to the bar, he goes into the bar, and he can only find one of them. So 
he says to the owner, he says, Where, where's my other machine? And you know what the guy said to him? What machine? You only had one here. Uh, so the guy took his one machine and brought it over to me and I bought it from him. And that's the lesson he learned. Be very wary of franchise deals. Yes, especially if they involve cocktail table pinballs. Anyway, you got the full story. Try to play one. Try to buy one. You know, these things never break down other than those optics. It'll run for 100 years. 100 years. Night moves. If you have one of them, you better change the, uh, the battery because that's a NICAD battery. System 3 is lithium. You don't have to worry. Anyway, Frank, did we cover everything on this thing? Yep. I think we did. And Lewis, there's your video. There's your video. Good night. How about having a private party here at TNT Amusements in our maze-like showrooms? Did you know that we have well over 60 games on free play? Unlimited play time in our Everton showroom. Try our antique light bulbs or look at our hologram collection. Plus, we're always changing games in the showroom, so there's always different games to play. And one of our party hostesses will run your entire party for you, making it real easy for you. I'd like you to meet my lovely wife, Pam. You know, folks, Pam and I were happy for almost 25 years. And then we met. Ha, 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 25 years, eh? That's not even my joke. It's Rodney Dangerfield. Hmm. But it's banana cream. Hmm. Look, your very own private party room. And we even show a classic car, too, while they're eating their food. We'll make your party a smash hit. We're in the Yellow Pages under amusement. Hope you enjoyed our show tonight, folks. And we have a little bit of time left over, so let's run some bloopers. Sure. I forgot to zoom, so let's go back and do it one more time. Your guests get unlimited play in our air-conditioned showrooms. Go ahead. And your guests. Guests. <laughs> ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night. <laughs>